Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 2nd of May 2019. We're going to reflect on John chapter 3, 31 to 36. Listen. John the Baptist said, The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. The Gospel of the Lord. There have been quite a few movies and documentaries produced lately about people who have died and gone to heaven and returned to tell us all about it. Although some of them have nice messages to share, the stories all seem rather fanciful and I can't help but take them with a grain of salt. Even Paul, who had a vision of heaven, see 2 Corinthians 12, 1 to 10, spoke about it very reluctantly, 14 years later, adding that God gave him a thorn in the flesh to keep him humble after this amazing revelation. So I would prefer to believe someone who has actually come down from heaven and the only person I know of who has is Jesus. And speaking about Jesus in today's passage that John the Baptist says, the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard. Therefore, if we ever want to know what heaven is all about, all we need to do is pay heed to Jesus. He isn't speculating about heaven. He is coming from heaven and he tells us how to get there. In John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I know that it is politically correct these days to say that there are many ways to the Father, but this isn't what Jesus says. And John attests to this, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. Again, I know people do not like to talk about God's wrath because it goes against the image of an infinitely loving and merciful God that some like to portray. However, although God is infinitely loving and merciful, it isn't infinite as we understand it. We have to accept we are sinners in need of mercy. As John writes, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, however, He's faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. And he will take us to heaven. In a Sermon on the Mount and in John 14, Jesus speaks about heaven being a place where God is. In Matthew 6, Jesus speaks about it being a place of treasures and rewards, although they might not be the type we imagine. In Matthew 25, Jesus speaks about heaven as a place that has been prepared for us from before the creation of the world. It is also a place of great joy and that also is to be found in Matthew 25. Want to know more? Let's go there and find out for ourselves because heaven is for real. God bless you.